Whoever is not against us is with us. The statement uh, sounds uh, very uh, wide open to interpretation, as we uh, can see. What did Jesus really mean that whoever is not against us is with us? The first reading today from the book of Numbers seems to hint at the same uh, things. Uh, Sometimes we can say that we can uh, say or do things uh, uh, based on our faith, based on what we believe in God and Jesus. But most of the time, I believe that we are lost in the middle or in the midst of our own ideology, if I may say. The first reading today reminds us of a situation, as you uh, recall from our proclamation earlier, that uh, Moses... who was filled with the Spirit of God. And when he was in the tent with a group of 70 uh, other people around him, the Spirit of God was taken from him and shared it with the other 70. It sounds like uh, we can imagine like God is sharing his own Spirit to those who were with Moses. And the word that is used here, spirit, ruach, in Hebrew, um, and uh, translated into Greek as the uh, hologos, uh, uh, it means the spirit of God, the breath of God, the same word that is used in Genesis 1.1. And in that, God's spirit is now shared to all with all those who were with Moses. So there is if we uh, read it carefully, a condition to this. And after that spirit of God was shared with others, 72 or 70 people, they were all prophesying. And the word prophesied, uh, the verb prophesy, as you see, means to speak in tongue with the divine's help, to interpret what God wants to be known or what God wishes to be known. So prophesied here is really to be in the same mind and spirit of God. That is the very condition that not only the first reading uh, that tell us today that whoever is with God, namely who is shared by the spirit of God can do or can prophesy or can do great things in God's name. As we see in the uh, reading, uh, the gospel reading today, Jesus, uh, or at least we hear another story, another situation in which uh, some of those people uh, that uh, Jesus' disciple here, John, uh, the evangelist Mark, uh, names or uh, tells us, uh, witnessed someone who was doing or driving out demon. And remember, when uh, John was not, uh, did not yet understand what that means, but uh, at least John was saying or reporting the correct story. Someone was driving out demon in the name of Jesus. And he thought that because that person was not following Jesus and his disciples, John thought that that driving out demon is illegitimate or wrongdoing. And Jesus corrected him, whoever is not against us is with us. So you see, the condition, not only John was not aware of, although he reported correctly, but he did not see that whoever is not against Jesus and what he was doing against him, against God, and against all of his Jesus' disciples is with them. So the condition here is in the name of Jesus. The first readings also tells us in the name of God or in the spirit of God. And of course, uh, in also in the first readings, uh, the uh, 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 Moses supposedly to be the author who tells us there were two other persons, Medad and Demad, Debad, who were not in the camps, let's say, who were not to hear with us, hear with us in church, but at the same time, the Spirit of God, the Ruach, the breath of God, was also 
descending upon those two persons, they too were prophesying. So here, the scripture readings, not only from the first reading, but also from scripture that uh, more than a thousand years later in the time of Jesus, the one conditions for those who were either outside the church, if we say outside the circle of Jesus' disciple and his followers, who can and also could do great things so long as they speak and act in God's name and in Jesus' name. Um, uh, as we know, uh, the situation uh, uh, is not new to us. Today, uh, we, if we go outside our, the context of our uh, Christian circle, we're going into our society. We see divisions just everywhere. We see that uh, division within our own heart, myself included, and within your heart, within your own, our own family, our own community, within our own uh, society and nation. But there's one thing that can, we can come together so long as God is in front of us, so long as God is inside us, so long as the names of God and Jesus is the purpose and the end things of everything that we do. Um, the uh, uh, situation I would like to share with you uh, that sometimes this, these two uh, texts often don't, we don't hear very, well, very often because they are not prominent in the New Testament. Uh, but uh, in the first letter of John and also in the third letter of John, that pre uh, there's a, a few two passages that speaks of uh, the situation similar to the time of Moses a thousand uh, or so years before and to, the, uh, uh, to all of us today. And uh, for example, the first letter of John uh, talks about false spirits, plural. And uh, it uh, echoes or reverberate, or reverberate of what Jesus uh, was telling his disciple and the story of Moses. Of course, everyone can claim to follow God, to speak in God's name, and uh, to do great things. And uh, uh, the first early Christians, I believe that when these uh, letters were written, they were in the second century. And early Christians struggled the same thing. If everyone comes and say that I speak in the name of Jesus, I speak to you, or I try to uh, 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 tell you in the name of God, how can we determine who is authentic or what is authentic to follow? And uh, uh, here is from the first letter of John, chapter 4, verses 1 and 3. I would like to read this just for us to reflect on. Beloved, the author says, namely, beloved, those who were uh, members of his community. Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits, plural, test the spirits to see whether they are from God. For many false prophets have gone out into the world by this he urges, by this you know the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is from God. So the author here tried to focus down on uh, early Christian was confused and was uh, questioning how do we determine how how, do, how can we find out who is authentic and who is not? As we see, uh, uh, early Christian already struggled that same thing in today. Uh, so he tried to spin down this one thing. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is from God. And every spirit that does not confess Jesus is not from God. And this is the spirit of the Antichrist of which you have heard that is coming and now it is already in the world. 
So in the context of our Christian community, in our church, in our society, um, uh, those or anyone who confesses Jesus who comes in the flesh, who was a witness by the Holy Spirit, that spirit, that person is truly from God. And the second one um, I would like to share is the, um, uh, also from uh, Scripture, the third letter of John, which we don't often hear. Uh, years ago, I was visiting uh, 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 my, one of my former uh, spiritual director who retired and live in a retirement home in Baltimore. And uh, nearby there was a, a res restaurant uh, called Demetrius. We often don't hear, it's a Greek name, it's a Greek uh, 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 origins. And we hear that this name Demetrius is people still, Christians still use this name. Whereas there is another name that we don't often hear, uh, and I believe it because of the history of this, the Artrophis. And in the third letter of John, the author brings out two situations, two persons, uh, that uh, one is truly doing the right thing and the other is not. Demetrius is the one that uh, the author encourages the uh, uh, community, the members to follow, whereas uh, the Archivist, uh he despises. So I'm going to read this. Beloved, you do faithfully whatever you do for the friends, even though they are strangers to you. They have testified to your, be uh, to your love before the church. You will do well to send them on in a manner worthy of God, for they began their journey for the sake of Christ. Therefore, we ought to support such people so that we may become co-workers with the truth. I have written about other matters to the church, but the Archivist, who likes to put himself first, does not acknowledge our authority. Beloved, do not imitate what is evil, but imitate what is good. Whoever does good is from God. Whoever does evil has not seen God. Everyone has testified favorably about Demetrius, and so has the truth itself. We also testify for him, and you know that our testimony is true. Whoever is not against Jesus and his disciples and those who do uh, uh, good works in his name, whoever is endowed, imbued with the breath of God, the spirit of God, who speak in the name of God, who speak in the name of Jesus, is with Jesus, is with God.